Right, in this video we are going to uh, create a template to be used in our um, HTML adventure game. So this is the page that um, all of our other pages are going to borrow from. It's all, uh, all of our um, descriptions for all of the different rooms are going to go on a page like this. So we're going to create the template and then when we go to create our pages all we have to do is edit the template and save it with a different file name. Um, so uh, if you've read the um, document that got sent out you should have um, seen my plan already that's what I'm going to be basing my template on obviously if your um, plan looks any different um, you'll have to modify it uh, but hopefully by following along with this guide you should be able to add your own um, colors, your own sizes and uh, and things like that. Okay, so I'm going to go through it step by step and um, this is obviously my um, plan. Um, I am going to leave it down in the corner over here um, so we can still see what our page was supposed to look like. Okay, so I've got a template.html. It's completely blank. Okay, if I go to um, I can go to File and New. If if you don't have template.html, just go File New and type in template.html. Um, to start off with, we need to put in the basic stuff that all websites need to have. So we're going to need a uh, doc type. Uh, doc type HTML. We're going to need a head. Um, uh, I mean, before that, we're going to need an HTML. Uh, we're going to need a head. Um, inside the head, we are going to need a title. Now it's up to you what you put for the title. You can either put the name of your game or you can change it um, to put the name of whatever room you're in. Or you can do a mix of both. So um, uh, if I just put my cool game, obviously you can change that to whatever you want. Um, and write in current room. It means that you know that you can go in, you can change my cool game to whatever the name of your game is. And you can change current room to whatever the current room title is. Okay, for now you can just leave it uh, leave it similar to that. Okay, we also need to link our style sheet in there. Um, so we do a link rel equals style sheet. Should really have some quote marks around that. Um, rel equals style sheet uh, type equals uh, text. CSS and href equals main.css. Okay, so there's that. Maybe this uh, font size is a little bit too big. Let's see if I can. Apparently, I can't control the font size. Okay, let's just leave it as it is. Okay, so uh, we've now got our um, head, we've got our title, we've got our style sheet linked in there. Um, Next up, we're going to put the body tag in here. There's our body tag. Um, now, if you have a look at my um, have a look at my uh, diagram here, I've got a uh, the title, the main title, which is the name of the current room, goes all the way across the um, uh, the top of the the screen. Now, in terms of um, colors and widths and stuff like that, when we're putting the HTML in, we don't have to worry about that. Once I've got the HTML in there, I'll show you how you can change the um, uh, the size and the colors and the fonts and all of that stuff. Okay, so for now, we just need to get the bits in. Okay, so we are going to have a heading which is going to be name of room name that's now how you spell it name of room and you can see I've got my live preview up there so it will add it all in as we go along um, the next thing that we need uh, is I've got my image is the next thing on there so I'm going to add an image in there IMG um, source equals now 
if you obviously you're going to have a different image for every room in your game but it's useful to have a uh, sort of a template image so you've got an idea of what the things are going to look like so I'm going to use battle.jpg um, which is from my previous tutorials you can use any image that you like in here um, alt equals um, I'm just going to put description in here. You should change description to be a description of whatever's in the picture. Uh, but for now, we're just going to we're going to have that. You can see there's my there's my image appearing on the screen. Uh, now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have a paragraph tag which has got my uh, description of the room. Okay, there's my description of the room is going to go in there, and then I'm just going to have a little. Uh, bold paragraph here so we say strong and inside here it's going to say make your choice this is a thing that I didn't actually put on my plan but I decided you know what it's gonna it, it's, it's a nice separation between the um, description and your actual choices and then in order to get the um, the choices in there it you can either use bullet points or you can have a numbered list. If I use bullet points, I'm going to use UL like this. And each option is going to be inside an LI tag. So here's my option one. Um, and I can copy and paste that for my other options. Now, depending on the way that you have planned your game, uh, not every room is going to have this many options. I'm just putting them in there so you can see overall what the page is going to look like. That really is all we need for our template, but obviously we want to get it so that it looks nice. Okay. If you have a look at my, um, let's just let's just make the uh, move this over here so we can see um, what's going on here. I've got my name of the room. Uh, and name of the room is at the top there. I've got an image showing the scenery. There's the image. Now, obviously, we don't have these uh, the borders and things like that. We're going to add them in in a moment. Underneath the image, I've got a description. Okay, and then underneath that, I've got this bold make your choice, and then I've got my three options. Okay, all of the stuff that was on my plan is now um, part of my. Um, HTML. So now all I need to do is start um, adding the CSS which is going to uh, change the style. So I'm going to walk you through this uh, because I know that some of you might be a little bit hazy on how this stuff works. Okay, so we've linked our uh, page into our style sheet. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is just set up some stuff which is going to apply to the whole um, web page. So I've clicked on the HTML tag here. I'm going to press Control E and then create a new rule. To change the background color, it's dead easy. You just type in background dash color. Now you've got to be careful. Check the spelling. Um, if in any doubt, you should have this help guide that pops up and tells you uh, what to put in there. But the spelling of color is kind of kind of wrong. Um, now I want my background color to be black. Okay, that's the that's the background color that everything's going to be. Now it looks like all of my text has disappeared, but don't worry, it's still there. It's just because it the text is black and the um, uh, the background is black, uh, we're not going to be able to uh, to see it. But we don't need to worry about that. However, I do want to set the font. Because uh, all of my font is going to be the same. So I can say font family, font dash family, uh, and the font that I am using is Trebuchet MS. So as soon as I do that, it should update uh, the font family. I'll just highlight my text here. You can see how the font has, has changed. Um, that's really it in terms of the HTML style. Um, so now I'm going to edit the. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's before we get onto the body, um, we will edit the um, heading. Okay. So I'm going to create a new um, rule here for the heading. So Control E and then click on New Rule. Um, I want my heading to be the full width of the page. So that's that's easy to do. I can just say width uh, 100%. Uh, percent. 
I also want the um, background color to be dark blue. So same as at the top there, I can say background color, background dash color, um, dark blue. There it is. Okay. Uh, and there we go. It's set that color looking pretty nice. I also said I wanted the uh, the font size to be 48 points. So to change the font size, I just say font dash size and then 48 PT for point. Okay, we're getting closer to how I actually want this to look. I also want my font color uh, to be white. Okay, so font dash color. Uh, sorry, not font dash color, just color on its own. But you've got to spell it wrong. Uh, is going to be, you know what, maybe I'll use Alice Blue. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Originally it was going to be white, but that's kind of a very pale blue, so I like that. Um, and my um, my heading should have a border at the bottom. So I can say border dash bottom, uh, five pixels wide, uh, and it's going to be solid. Uh, blue. Okay, and that's added the border at the bottom. Now there's a problem here. You, you'll probably have noticed um, the um, the actual title. There's a little gap between the uh, uh, the top there uh, and the bottom. We can fix that hopefully by editing the HTML and saying um, margin zero px. Um, except that didn't work. Maybe we could have changed the padding as well. To zero px, zero px, and that still didn't work. Okay, it looks like what we're going to have to do is set up some of this information in the body tag. Okay, so if we go to body and Control E. Basically, all we really want to do for the body is try and get rid of that horrible um, space around the outside. So let's try the old margin um, 0px. And there we go. It's finally got rid of it. Excellent. Um, so, so far we have got a background color for the whole page and we've set the font family for the whole page. Uh, we've set the margin and the padding, so just to let you know, margin is the space around the outside of something. Padding is the space on the inside. So you can see there, there's not much padding um, between the edge of the screen there and the, the start of that, that text. But we, we won't worry about that um, too much at the moment. Uh, in the body, we've set margin 0px. Basically, that means that um, there's not going to be any space around the outside of the body. Okay, Everything is all fine. Probably don't need that margin in the HTML. Yeah, I can get rid of that. I could probably get rid of the padding as well. Let's just let's keep that nice. Okay. Um, one more thing that I want to do. Um, if you have a look on my design, name of room should be in the middle of the page. And so all I need to do to get that working is text align center. And be careful of the spelling of center as well. You've got to spell it the American way again. I know it's frustrating, but there we go. Okay, so we've now got a, um, a title bar uh, with a border, we're starting to look um, how we want it to look. Um, I'm just going to close. When you add the rules, they, the the box tends to stay around, but you can you can click the X and get rid of that, um, and then you can always go back to it by clicking in the element and pressing Control E. It will take you back to the same rule. But down here, there's something else that we um, that we need to do. You see. At the moment, we just have a title and then we have everything else underneath it. But what I, what I want to do, and if you have a look at my plan, the image and the description and the options should all be inside this box, which has got these big borders on either side. There's two ways that you can do that. Um, I'm going to show you the uh, what I think is the easiest way using a div tag. So uh, I've got my name of the room and I'm going to create a new div. I'm going to say div 
ID equals content. Everything that's inside this div is the content of the page. Okay, so I've got to make sure that the div opens there and closes there. Okay, just to make sure that it's easy to see what's going on there, um, I can select everything. If I press the tab key, which is to the left of the Q key, um, I can I can tab it all in. So at the moment, everything's inside this div, but um, nothing. Um, we haven't actually set any style for the div. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to click on the ID bit here, and press Control E, and then select New Rule, and it should say Hash Content. Okay. So in my uh, plan, I said that I wanted the width of this to be 700 pixels. Well, let's sort that out. Let's say width um, 700 px. Okay. Has that done it? I do not know. Um, let's set the background color uh, just to make sure. So we're going to say background uh, color. My background color, um, I said a pale blue background. I'm going to use this color aqua here. Um, cool. OK, we've got, we've got a background there. Um, we've obviously set the width. It's not quite in the middle though, and that, that sort of bothers me. Um, so here's what I'm going to do to fix that. I'm going to say margin uh, left auto, and then I'm going to say margin right auto. And what that, what that basically does is it sets the gaps on the left and the right of the box um, to make sure that um, it's basically automatically calculates how much space would need to be either side for that um, uh, content to be in the middle there. Okay, you can play around with that. You can set margin left to a, a value yourself, and then you can set margin right to auto. It's worth having a uh, having a play around with. Now, at the moment, there's something bothering me about this image because this image is too wide for the um, for the box that we've put it in. On my design, again, I said I wanted the image to be 650 pixels wide. Well, okay, let's fix that. In my image here, I'm going to now give it an ID. Um, I'm going to say ID equals scenery. Let's call it scenery. Okay, and then once again, I'm going to create a um, uh, a new rule by clicking on ID and then Control E and selecting New Rule. Okay, you've got to make sure that you click on ID because if you just click on image, it will create a rule for every single image. We don't want to do that. We just want to set the rule for the scenery. Okay, and all I need to do is say uh, width. Uh, 650 uh, pixels and there we go it's nicely resized it now I, there's still a few things that I don't like about that I want to add a border to it uh, let's say border is one pixel uh, solid black let's just have a black border around it um, you can see it's added that black border um, and we can set the margins here now the width of my um, my content here is 700 pixels okay the width of my uh, scenery is 650 pixels so if I set the margin to be um, 25 pixels it means that there'll be 25 pixels on this side Okay, and then 650 pixels, and then another 25 pixels on this side. 650 plus 25 is 675. 675 plus 25 is 700. Okay, you can either you can either work it out exactly like that, uh, or you can try using margin auto. But there's a there's a there's a trick here, um, which might catch you out. So if I say margin uh, 25. Uh, pixels like that you can see it's nicely centered now okay no problem obviously if your um, if the size of your image is different you're gonna have to recalculate 
uh, the amount to uh, to put in around the outside there. Okay, but look what happens if I do margin auto. It doesn't work in the same way that um, it worked up here. In order for the margin auto to work, we also need to say display block like that. Um, and then the margin auto works. But you'll notice it only works for the left and right. Uh, so if you want to add margin to the top, you can say margin um, margin dash top um, 25 pixels. Um, and that should add in those extra bits. Um, I don't really like it that way, so I'm just going to go back to margin 25 uh, pixels all around. Okay, so we're almost done, um, but first of all, my box is floating in, in nowhere. I want to make sure that there's a, a border around it. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the uh, the scenery stuff here. We're back to just looking at content here. Uh, to add a border, you can say border, and then you specify how wide you want it to be. I want it to be five pixels, um, and then whether you want solid or dashed or dotted, um, I just want it to be a solid border, and I want it to be blue. Okay, boom, there we go. We've now got a border around the outside of that. There's still this gap here, though. I don't like it. So I, if I say margin top um, 0 px, it should, except it didn't. OK, that's a little bit annoying. Um, maybe there's something we need to change here uh, in the uh, body, because the it's the outside here which is which is causing uh, causing the problems. So if I just edit my rule for the body, uh, let's try setting padding to zero px. Does that make a difference? No, apparently that does not make a difference. Hmm, I'm not entirely sure why this isn't um, displaying the way that I wanted it to display. Um, I've set width. What if I set that? I set all of the margins to nothing. Nope, still does not like it. I think I know what the problem is, though. Okay, in my H1, in my H1. I think, look, we can see now that I've selected H1, that is actually the margin, it's the bottom margin of um, of the of the heading. So we can fix that. Margin bottom margin dash bottom. We want that to be zero px. And now We've almost fixed it. Almost. I say we've almost fixed it because if you look carefully, in fact, if I zoom in, you can see that we're getting um, not only the bottom border of the title, but we're getting the top border of the um, uh, of the content here. So maybe we want to let's get rid of the uh, the top border. So I say border dash top um, zero px. And magically, that seems to have fixed everything. Okay, um, and now I'm pretty happy with the look of my uh, HTML page. It looks pretty much exactly how I wanted it um, to look. If I just let's just pull up the old side by side um, here. You can see, well, there's my. See if I can match it for size. That look, it's almost, it's almost spot on. I've got my name of the room up there in the font and the style that I wanted. I've got an image showing the scenery there, um, which is 650 pixels wide. I've got a description here, um, and I've got my option choices there, and that whole thing is 750 pixels wide. 
Um, there's a couple of things that um, you might want to change. Obviously, I've just shown you how you can change the width, um, but you can also change the height as well if you want to. I tend not to worry about the height because people have different size screens, and it doesn't always it doesn't always work out. There is one thing that I want to change though and that is the gap here if you look it's very close that description there's not in, there's not really enough space to breathe if you like i would like to have the same gap between um the image and and the edge um uh, as i as i do uh here so here is what i'm going to do okay um if i go back to my code here um this is the I am just going to edit the content. Okay, so click on ID, control E. Um let's specify some padding and see what happens to our um to our display. And I'm it's so that you can see this change happening, I'm just gonna get rid of the um my sketch there okay so here we go we are going to change padding I want it to be I don't know maybe 10 pixels let's try that padding um, 10 px now you will probably have noticed something here and that's the fact that as I increase the padding it's actually increased the width of my whole thing because the padding and then the margin uh, are all added together here. So here's something I might try. If I set my padding to 25 pixels, okay, and then go back to my image and I get rid of that margin, we're back where we started, but now everything's lined up. Okay, so when it comes to um, things like um, spacing in between boxes and stuff like that, um, it's always a case of having to play around with uh, different padding settings and different margin settings. Okay, there's not an awful lot of super complex stuff that I've done here. It's wor it's well worth you just having a look at all of the different stuff that I've done here. Setting background colors um, and setting font families and font sizes should be straightforward. The things that are kind of tricky to get your head around are um, adding borders, adding margins and adding padding. Um, the, the thing to remember is if you've got a uh, an item, let's have a look at this this image for instance. You've got this image uh, the image has a set width and then after that you have a border around the outside and then after that you have a margin around the outside of that right but if it's a box like my content box here not only do you have the margin on the outside and then the border but you have padding on the inside the padding is the dis distance between the border and the stuff that's inside it okay so a lot of the time um, it's really useful to have your live preview up so that you can uh, go through and edit the um, uh, the stuff and see the changes happening uh, as you go through it okay now what I um, have done is I've put all of this code see I've got two files here um, I've got um, template.html which looks like this pretty straightforward and then I've got main.css uh, which looks like this I've I've pasted the code for both of those into the document so you can use my setup if you want to and just change the colors or you can fiddle around and change the uh, the sizes of things okay but all you need to do at this point is create a single template and then what we're going to do after that is we're going to start pulling all of your different designs together uh, so that all of the different pages are linked together. Okay, let me know if you have any problems.